guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today we are going to be doing an upper body workout. It's mainly going to be focusing on the back and the shoulders. So here I am doing lateral pullovers using a dumbbell. You can use a bar, um, I just find it easier with a dumbbell and you can play around with weights as well. So make sure that you pick a heavy weight and pull with the lats which are just under like down the sides under your shoulder and make sure that on the last rep you fail so it's a struggle I think we did 10 to 12 reps and it was three sets of this we actually supersetted this with another exercise which I will be showing you in a moment but these are great so yeah, then we went straight into single arm rows. So you want to be using a heavier weight than the one before. So this was about four kilos heavier than the other weight. And we did eight to 10 reps on each arm, both to failure. So this is a superset. So you do both exercises back to back and then you have a break for one minute and then you repeat three times. So that's three sets. Then we went on to a really hard shoulder tricep. So a tricep is when you do three exercises back to back. So here I'm doing Arnold shoulder presses. So with Arnold shoulder presses, you bring the dumbbells right down and then you push up. And again, just make sure you're using a heavy weight, not too heavy because you are about to do a tricep. And doing these seated is harder for the shoulders because you can't use your legs and core as much as if you were standing. So then we went into lateral raises. You'll need to lower the weight for these. Um, I am using a bit of momentum for my body as well, which is fine, just because I wanted to use a heavier weight. So on this, I think I did about six or eight reps. Um, but yeah, just be careful not to go too heavy, because then we go straight into front raises. Now you can use a plate, a barbell, or a dumbbell for this. Um, and it, this needs to be a heavier weight than the two weights before. And yeah, you only want to bring it up to in line with your shoulder and make sure you've got that core tight. I am swinging a bit for a bit of momentum so I can lift a heavier weight, um, but you don't want to be swinging too much. So you do these three exercises back to back, then have a one minute break and then repeat the whole thing three times. So it's three sets. Then we went into seated cable rows. So you want to be lifting a heavy weight here. So I'm doing 32 and a half kilos. Um, keeping that core tight, you're slightly leaning back and make sure you're pulling with your lats and your back and squeezing your delts as well, not pulling with your biceps. So we did basically to failure, which I think for me was 12 or 10 reps. And again, we did three sets of these. Okay, then we went on to cable face pulls, which are really good for the rear delts. You wanna be leaning back slightly and tensing that core and you basically just pull it into your face <laughs> um, so as you can see that's how you hold the cables as I am you also want to make sure that for you and your height that it's correct because I'm quite tall I'm 5'10 so I had this at the top um, and then we did yeah 10 reps of those I lowered the weight and then went straight into tricep extension so make sure you keep your elbows tucked in and you're like using your triceps to pull down and not your shoulders and keep the core tight and you want to be standing quite close to the equipment as well. So I did 10 reps of those, so that's a superset straight into each other. You then rest for a minute and repeat both exercises three times, so three sets. We then went into assisted chin-ups. Um, so these are great because you can do more of them when you're, with your, well, if you're weaker. Um, you can do more of them because you can use the weight to assist you. So if you're heavy and tall like me, you're obviously going to need more weight to assist you. It doesn't mean that you're weaker. Um, and obviously if you're very light, you don't need much weight to assist you because it's easier to pull yourself up. But yeah, these are great for the lats as well and the back and they do work a bit of your biceps as well. You want to remember to keep your core tight. If your gym doesn't have one of these machines, you can use a loop band and you just tie it to a bar and you put your knee or your foot into the band and you can use that to assist you up. There are loads of videos on YouTube how to do that. 
You can also use this machine for assisted pull-ups, but we just didn't do them today. And then Charlotte and I did a fun little paired ab exercise together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your support. If you've got any questions, just comment below, email me, chloe2model at gmail.com and make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. It's at chloe underscore thomas underscore fit. So I will see you guys next week.